Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And our man, Mr. Tim Ord, folks, not only hit it out of the park in gold, he hit it out of the park in the S&P, if you've been following us uh, every Tuesday and Thursday. And if you want to understand how Tim looks at the market, folks, okay, and what type of ratios that he uses to look at the market, well, it's very easy to do because Tim is going to be doing a workshop this Tuesday. This coming Tuesday, it's only $149. If you go to the front page of TFNN, bottom line, you can sign up right now. It's going to be from 4 to 5.30. You know, you've seen the results. That's the bottom line. The results are the biggest deal, man. So, you know, you want to understand the market? You want to understand something that people don't have, okay? Because the, the bottom line is that when you go through these, they don't have them. You want the formulas, come over to the workshop. And if you can't make it live, folks, remember that it's always archived and you can go over it as many times as you want. Tim Ord, what's going on? All right. Uh, I kind of made the charts hopefully a little bit more easier to read. I think uh, um, we were going so, uh, so fast on Tuesday, I think people were kind of confused what the chart's all about. So um, I'm hoping that to make this a lot clearer. And so people no, listen, man, it's, it's, all, it, it, it's, it's always clear what happened there, and I apologize, folks, okay? It was on my side, and you know that's how that it really was, Tim. So I, I apologize, but the, this oh, is no, it's, this, it's, this is sweet. You got yeah. the you got the mocked off right now, and first off, congratulations, man. I mean, you know, this is you know we've been on the air now for quite a while. Uh, you know, first you hit the gold market, and you know the bottom line is that you hit this one nice. And I don't know if you have the swag deal on this one, but before you get off, I want to know what that number is. <laughs> we'll start with John right, yeah. one though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got it on. Um, oh, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, this is start uh, from chart one. Okay. Um, this is there's you know uh, I've been saying you know that you got to have panic and you know the trend and ticks are really good. Well, sometimes they didn't trigger on this last decline. The uh, ticks and trend really the ten day didn't really get into bullish territory, and it happens uh, every while. So you got to have more tools in your toolbox. That's right to pick out uh, to pick out what's going on. You're like Robin but, Hood you know, when your quiver is full. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So you you know you can't. I don't rely on on one indicator, but if you get two or three lining up like this time around, I did. Then uh, you kind of step up and you catch the falling knife, as they say. And uh, you know, we went long Friday, and basically that was a closing low. Yes. So, but anyhow, let's look, let's look at chart one. Okay, and, uh, have it up. All right. Uh, well, anyhow, the middle window of chart one is basically the VIX. It's uh, the daily VIX. And that's all it is. VIX trades opposite of the. SPY or SPX. Yes. So in other words, if VIX goes uh, goes up, usually the market goes down, and if uh, the SPs go up, uh, the VIX goes down. But when you get the VIX going up, or if you got the VIX actually going up, uh, how's that? See, I got think here. If, no, you, if you got the VIX going up when the SPs are going down, um, that's that's usually uh, the right way to, to look at. It. So I I look at uh, so instead of um, money, I, I do the SPX VIX ratio. What that does is reverse the um, ratio to look similar to the SPY chart. So when the SPX VIX ratio is going up, also the SPI is going up. And when that happens, you got a confirmed uptrend. But when you get divergences going on, in other words, you, you got the uh, S&Ps going down and the VIX uh, going down with it, that's the divergence. And if you look over to the right side window, the very right side, yes, you notice the the S and P's kind of fell through the floor going into last Friday, uh, March twenty seventh. Yes, and and if you see the VIX, it was it was actually going up in that time frame. That's the reason I got those little dotted lines there to show uh, that the market was going down, and the and the VIX was also. Uh, Going down, going and that's down. A positive right. divergence, and that's the reason why. One of the reasons why I went into uh, the market, yeah, previous that's... times. Um, you know, if you go back and look on the chart, you know, go back to the 2022 high. Yes, uh, way back there, it's kind of circled in uh, kind of a light pink there. If you notice, the S and P's were going up, and and right above that's the VIX. The VIX was also making higher lows. 
Uh, so that was the reason why I got bearish in 2022. Right. Now, yeah, just give me one. Just right. give me one second, so. Tim, because I, I want to show the folks this. So to cut to the chase, folks, OK, what Tim was saying here when he went long Friday, OK, which is important. And this is what he's going to be going over on this coming Tuesday. I want to show you. I'm just going to bring another shot on top of his. I want to show you on Friday. So when you look at on Friday, you're going to see what Tim's talking about, what should have been happening there. When the S&P was getting smoked, well, guess what? The VIX went from 22 to 19.75. So it went the opposite way, meaning that if the S&P is getting smoked, well, we should have been going after those highs, and we weren't. And that was, that's, that's the kicker. And that's, that's one of the big signals that he's talking about. Okay, Tim, go ahead. Yep. Right, yeah, that's, that's good. And there's another time in... Uh 2023. That's a kind of a light blue area in the middle of the chart. Okay, yes, and, I see that. Uh, we were talking on the radio, and everybody I remember was kind of bear, bearish. Yep, uh, around that April May period, and then I got that uh, little. The market was kind of going sideways there. Yes, and uh, and if you notice the uh, chart, uh, the VIX was actually going down. Right. Uh, so that was the reason why I stayed long and the market uh, you know, so went up to that top. Just, stay right, just stay right there. Tim oh, and I okay. are coming right back. And in the commercial break, folks, you can get over there and sign up for this workshop. Tim and I are coming right back. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim O'Reilly, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us. We have the Dow up by 510. NASDAQ's up 224. S&Ps are up 75. Okay, Tim. All right. Actually, we were talking about, uh, I meant to put that Zwag uh, uh, indicator in today's re uh, uh, list, and I forgot to do it. But I did, uh, did check it as .58, okay. and it needs to be .6 by uh, November 10th, which is a week from tomorrow. I like so, it. <laughs> yeah, and so if the market just at least holds here right. in this percent, most likely there's a high probability that will trigger. And when the Zwag breath thrust indicator triggers, that means an intermediate term rally. So that gives you quite a bit of information that, in general, this market's probably going to work higher all the way to year end. It is. So and, and, probably... and, and what's so cool, Tim, and, and folks, is that, you know, if you've, you've been, I'm sure you've been following Tim and myself, right? And what had happened, folks, on the last one is that, you know, you can see that this is what's so cool about Tim's indicators, folks, okay? You can see he had given you the number prior to it, right? The bottom line is that, well, two weeks ago when we hit that thing, the bottom line, well, the number didn't hit. Well, okay, the number didn't hit, number didn't hit. That, that's where patience comes in. Bottom line, we go a little bit lower, S&P comes, and we'll see whether it hits this time. But it's the, the indicators that Tim uses, folks, there's no subliterally, it's, they're not subtle. The bottom line is that they're black and white, which makes them so cool. Okay, so... Yeah. Um, that's, that's great news, that, Tim. That's that, chart two. Chart two, okay. All right. So we kind of covered, you know, the uh, SPX VIX ratio. Yep. And then now this is the uh, tilt, you know, the 20 year bond uh, yes. to the VVIX. Yep. And the VVIX is the VIX of the VIX. Right. And why this works, I really don't know, really don't care. But I went back in years and it seems to work really well. So, um, probably nobody ever tried this, uh, but anyhow, in a nutshell, which is so cool, I know. When the <laughs> when this when the S and P's make a lower low, I got circled in blue. The middle of the chart is the uh, TLT BBIX ratio, and below that, okay. on the bottom, is the SPY. And I Look got circled that. in blue. In other words, yep. when when the market goes down, there's actually two things. Um, of, of this, this, there's two things on this indicator. Um, the top window is the rate of change, the 10 period for the TLT BVIX ratio. The next window down is the RSI of the uh, TLT BX ratio. So I measured the velocity or the acceleration of this ratio. Yes. And when they, so when things really move fast, that's really a good sign. In other words, cause only, I got this idea when the market panics, it, it moves really fast. Right. And that's when everybody scatters. Well, that's the best time to get in the market. Right. And so you have to you have to figure out you know the velocity of the market to see where that bottom is. Yes. So I use this on the uh, TL uh, TLT VIX ratio. So anyhow, when when these 
two indicators, ROC and RSI, of the TLT VIX ratio, both hit in bearish territory. In other words, on the RSI is below 30, and on the uh, ROC uh, rate of change is below 20. When both those happen, you're at a short-term low. And all those red lines across the um, um, graph there are times when both those indicators uh, reached uh, bullish levels, and you know pretty much uh, they all they all came at lows. It's all and, it's uh, so consistent. If you want, if you if you're in your car, folks, remember that you can go watch this program tonight. But if you're watching it, you're going to see the consistency here is amazing. You know what's really cool, Tim, is that looking at this last one, right? You can see what a higher high actually the S and P was when we actually got the when you got the signal, right? That's I mean, and I can see oh, why. Yeah, left to the right, yeah. Actually, yeah. We're, we're, gonna, we're right. gonna blow that one up and look at it a little bit closer. Yeah. But uh, all right. So so anyhow, so that's what one part of this chart is. You get short term lows, and all those red lines are showing one of the short term lows. Then it turns around. The market that's usually not the bottom. It has been bottom in some cases, but not all, not all the cases. Then the market uh, takes a bounce. And it comes back down again, breaks new lows on the S&Ps. That's why I got circled in low there. Okay. But the TLT VIX ratio makes higher lows. Now you're looking at a worthwhile low. Right. Something as something as a multi-week, if not a multi-month low. Okay. And uh, so and uh, so anyhow, that's so that's this is kind of a two-prong indicator. Yes. So if you're playing options, this is good. When both those indicators hit below, you can have a, a week or two of, of a trade up on a long call or something like that. Right. But also, is you can do a, a multi-week, if not a multi-month trade, because when you get divergence makes higher lows on the TLT VIX ratio and the S&Ps make a lower low, you got a multi-month uh, rally. So, um, anyhow, let me... That's pretty cool, man. No, I, I get right. it. I get it. I'm telling you. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's, let's go to chart three. Okay. So this is a blown up portion of this ratio. I see. And okay. So, uh, if you go way to the right there, you know you got a, a short term low on the uh, on that uh, on the on the two uh, ROC uh, RSI ratios. You got a minor bounce in the last couple of days. Then the market plummets again to new lows. Right. But look what the ratio does, TLT VIX ratio. Right. Now it's, kind of, it's, a, it's a different than the SPY VIX ratio. This is the tilt, you know, the bonds to the... Uh, so, yeah, I mean, to the VIX of the VIX, right. Quite a bit of information right. going in on a close of last Friday, or March 20, or not March, but uh, October 27th. Yes. That, you know, I had a couple of different major divergences happening here. So I, I kind of went... Uh, kind of leaned on that trade, you know. <laughs> they, they, they always comes on Fridays. They make you sweat the whole weekend. I hate that. Right. But, and if uh, you want to understand that trade, folks, just look at this trade for a second, okay, because this is really cool. So I bring this over here. You're talking about the SPY at 409, and we're at 430, okay, because that's, that's where this was. And maybe, okay, might get it at 410, 411, whatever that is. But the bottom line is that that's where Tim went long. Because that's where, that's where as we're going through these charts, and if you want to understand this, guess what? Come, come Tuesday. <laughs> because, you know, I, and I can give you some history with Tim, folks, okay? The bottom line, first time that he came, I brought him to Boston, I think it was 1995, and it changed my life. So, <laughs> if you want to understand some ratios, and you will, you will, just as Tim said, yeah, you're going to be long when people are shot, and you're going to be shot when people are long. <laughs> you know, but the bottom line is that he catches these moves, man. So, pretty cool, Tim. Yeah. Pretty cool. Right. You know, if you notice, I, you know, we were talking, I got out back in um, late July. Yes. And uh, uh, this is one of the reasons why, if you look at late July period, you know, the S&Ps were going up and up, and that ratio started going down. Right. And uh, so that's one of the reasons I got out. And uh, trading short to market in the bull market is kind of, you know, you know, the market went down, I don't know, 8, eight 10 percent, whatever. And I, I tried to short, uh, or actually I tried to long on a balance that didn't work out well, lost 2 percent, went long again. And it didn't work out. But anyhow, the whole, the whole decline, I think the market went down 10 percent and I was down 1 percent. Which so, is pretty cool. Yeah, which is better than 
<laughs> being down 10 percent yeah totally yeah you know, top the bottom so you know it's it's it's, it's been good life's been good I, yeah I hear the, the music that's again. right stay stay right there tim and i are coming right back folks Tires. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Orr joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors bull bear ratios, and the trend panic levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. Welcome back, folks. Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl on a prowl on us out here. We have the Dow up 540, NASDAQ up 228, SP's up 78. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Moore. We are talking markets right now. Okay, Tim. All right. Um, actually, I'm looking at the, the market right now. We're up uh, like one point, a little less than 2%. And long as yeah, I'm looking at the VIX, and as long as that VIX is down today, that bodes well for tomorrow. <laughs> so nice. Uh, a lot of time that VIX will will kind of be unchanged or even uh, up a little bit uh, when you get close to it. It'll be a minor or low. I mean, you'll have some sort of a consolidation at some point. But today will mark four days up in a row. Uh, that's there's there's a I forgot what you call it, but if you're up four days in a row, quantitative uh, analysis. If you're up four days in a row, the market will be higher. 73% of the time within five days. If you're up five days in a row, and our tomorrow's up, yes. the market will be higher within five days, 83% of the time. So Big numbers. Um, so, you know, this rally looks like it you know, may get back up to those previous highs we had in, in uh, what, October up there, you know, 440 range. Yeah, so I'm glad, I'm glad you brought this up with the VIX, too, Tim. So uh, I just put the VIX up, too, folks, okay? So you can see, you know, the VIX is staying low today, okay? We, we just, Tim yeah, is, yeah, was, Tim, right. as long as it's down yes. and the S&P is up, that's okay. That's what you if, want, if, exactly. If the VIX is kind of unchanged or even up today with the market up this much, chances are tomorrow is going to be a down day. But we don't have that here. VIX is down decent. <laughs> and if you notice, we're below, back below 17 again. Right. And, uh, you know, remember we, we, on a previous show we talked about when the usually the VIX is below 17, yep. a lot of times you get a trending market. Yes. And so we're at 15.70 right now. Uh, so there's a chance that this market actually could keep just moving higher. Not every day is going to be an update. Uh, but if that VIX stays below uh, 17, you know, going into the weekend, uh, chances are next week will be up too. Right. Now, and there's something, folks, let me, Tim, just because what, what I want you to understand, folks, is this, is that, okay, so we've been talking about, you know, the bottom coming in here. Tim had just mentioned the aspect of, you know, and I remember this specifically, okay, in, in the July deal that he got out of the market. So what I want you to understand is that when you're coming over to this webinar, right, the bottom line is that these these tools, folks, okay, can help you on both ways. That that's the bottom line. This is not a one-way shot. This is what's so cool about what he does generally. Okay, no, in general. Period. That's the bottom line. Okay, you know, um, you know, when everyone's and we know how this goes. You know, I, I think most of us know fundamentally, you know, how it goes. But it's very tough to just turn around and say that, okay, man, I'm going to go long or I'm going to go short and I'm going to give it a shot without any real analysis behind it. Do you know what I'm saying? So, you know, pretty cool. So, no, this is... Yeah, you'll have, you'll, you'll have reasons, you know, this, these charts just don't, um, you know, they, they, they tell a story and so the interpretation is not hard. You know, the hard part was figuring out what charts uh, to look at you know, and what ratios to look at to, to give you 
the information you need uh, to make wise decisions on you know, your investments. Exactly. Stuff, so. I'd love to be a fly uh, in the wall in your room, like, you know, because I, I know for the amount of, you know, different ratios you have, Tim, okay, you know, and folks, this is real work, okay? This is, you know, the bottom line is you can go through, a, a, you know, I'm sure, you know, I'm, Tim, Tim's giving you these ratios, but I'm sure there's probably another hundred of them that he did because I know him so well that, you know, didn't give him anything. I mean, I mean that's yeah. that's you the type of work. You're right, you're right. Right. Yes, yeah, yeah, see, my office, I, <laughs> I, I'm a visual person, so I don't, I, uh, yeah. I don't, to me, I, I, I've had a hard time writing. And uh, so everything's visual to me. So uh, my 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 walls are starting to to come in on me because I got graphs I everywhere, love it. and I put graphs of top graphs. You know, just yeah, you know, uh, Scotch tape to the wall. Listen, or, I'm or the whatever. exact same way, man. I that's, yeah, I I love it because I can't. You, yeah. you know, what's so crazy. I, I'm, I, it, 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 yeah, uh, visuals is where it's at. I have to actually hear something and see something in order to understand it. I, you know, I just do. Let's, yeah, that's the same with yeah. me. To me, I understand it. I can figure it out once it gets in front of my face. Yes. You know, after a while, I think, well, this thing makes sense, or, you know, I can't find anything here. And so I kind of move on. And Pretty stuff. cool. But once I find something, then I... I try to hone it down, put different moving averages on it, or Bollinger Band. I put all stuff to it. So that's how I came up with these these ratios. And right. I, I did one, and I'm thinking, God, there's a lot of information in stuff. There and is a lot of information. Ratios. Yeah, uh, that I know of. And so. Well, in particular, because you know what's so cool here, Tim, right? I mean, I always watch the bond market, okay? And this is what's so cool, see, about this TLT and the VIX, VI, the VIX of the VIX. Because what happens, folks, is this. Bonds run the world. Interest rate structure runs the world. And yep. what he has here is he has interest rate structure with a fear gauge. <laughs> so it's like heaven. I mean, it's like, that's, that's well, it's actually a, a fear of a fear, <laughs> which is even better, right? right? <laughs> yeah, that, 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 there was, I tried it with the VBIX, or VX, just the VIX. Yeah. It didn't seem to have to work well. For some reason, it works really well with this. Okay. And you can go back, which I could do, I go back, you know, 15, 20, 30 years. Yes. And, you know, if it's, it gives that much information, the probabilities are like 90 or better, you know, that's a good indicator to watch. It is. So... It Especially is. if you you know if you can start stacking them, you I know, know this is the second indicator that we we covered today. that gave a, a bullish signal. Exactly. You know exactly. And uh, and so and also look at weeklies. Let's just flip to the the weekly chart, which is the last chart here. Okay. And uh, uh, the the top window or the is the weekly SPYs. Yep. And it's the weekly time frame, and. And I put a Bollinger Band on it, and every time uh, this uh, S and P's close below the upper or lower Bollinger Band, usually the market reverses, and it works a lot better at bottom for some reason. So, and that lower Bollinger Band is two uh, two uh, deviations away from the norm, which okay. is the mid Bollinger Band. I see. So what it what it does is stress the market is stretched on a short term basis. So if you start going below the the lower Bollinger Band is really stretched. Yep. And a lot of times you get a snapback rally. And uh, if you notice, that's what happened last Friday. We closed oh, yeah. below the mid or the uh, lower Bollinger Band. There you go, folks. And so I, kn I knew the market was stretched. Look at it. So, yep. Uh, and uh, that, that was uh, another indicator. Now, if you look at the bottom window, which is a VIX, and that's another reason. This is on weekly time frames. The VIX didn't confirm it, the VIX went sideways. And all those little blue uh, areas there is yep. when the market, you know, breaks new lows and the VIX goes sideways. And this is on a weekly time frame, not a daily. Right. So there was a huge divergence last Friday. Yeah. So pretty amazing, um, no doubt. Get to love it. Yeah. So so anyhow, that's that's the reason why I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm long. So you know, where's the sell signal at? I don't know, but I'll get some indicators. We'll we'll present them as we go forward with this trade. Right. You know, when it uh, gets to maybe a danger level, I'll have to wait and see what happens. But uh, the way it's going for, uh, so far right now, with four days up, you know, we got a 73 percent chance the market will be higher. And if tomorrow's up, we have an 83 percent chance it'll be higher in the next five days. So. Well, listen, man. Um, I appreciate all the work. 
you know, and once again, congratulations, man. I mean, because just the way you break markets down is just phenomenal, man. You have a great weekend, great. Tim, a safe weekend, and we're going to uh, talk in on Tuesday, and you're going to be doing that webinar on Tuesday, man. All right, I'll talk to you then. Okay, man. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.